Good morning guys and welcome to another vlog. I actually haven't vlogged this whole weekend, which is random. But I've just been kind of like chilling with Peter, um, working on some stuff and we realized like, fuck, we really need to get a bloody dining room table. We went a couple days ago, what was it last weekend? Or maybe it was throughout the week and we went to um, Harvey Norman and we just, like they were okay. Like I do want a marble table, but like obviously not real marble. But we also do want some thickness. Um, all the other marble tables that we looked at were really thin. Um, but obviously the price increases when you get like that thicker marble look. Um, Peter really wanted like a cement look tabletop. Um, I reckon that would look really cool, like a grey one. Um, or a white one, we're not sure, but we're gonna go to Nick Scarly because apparently they've got sales on. Um, we don't really have that much planned for today. We're probably just gonna go there, have a look at some other furniture shops nearby, um, and then go for lunch. Um, I'm wearing this before everyone asks. It is from Princess Polly. I'm not sure if my haul would be up already, but if it isn't, it's from Princess Polly. I literally could not be bothered putting makeup on. Actually, I never really wear makeup out in public unless I'm filming a video and we have to go somewhere after but i'm loving the whole no makeup life so yeah we'll let you know and keep you updated if we find a table fingers freaking crossed peter's so picky when it comes to stuff like that but i guess i am as well but i'm the type of person that would find something and be like yep like that's it that's the one whereas he would rather like look around and see if there's better deals or better tables or like things that we're buying i will keep you guys updated just got to nick scarly this one's really nice and it's on sale as well, but we saw one in Harvey Norman for, I think it was the same price, but with the chairs. Looks like the kitchen bench. No, I think I like the first one better, the thicker one. Hmm. Good morning, everyone. My eyelashes are slowly coming off, so that's a hot look. I just received a parcel. Um, okay, I need scissors. Um, from Little Label Co. I ordered some pantry storage and labels because I couldn't help myself and I want my pantry to look pretty. That was like one of my goals moving into this house is to have an organized pantry. I do have quite a few things already from Ikea, so I didn't get heaps of stuff, but I'm excited for the labels. Okay, so canister wise, I got a few small ones and then a few big ones. So I got these. Oh, I can't wait, I got a spice rack as well. Oh my god, I look so pale. I didn't put tan on my face last night. Um, I'm going to a body pump class today as well. Well, this morning. I think I got small, medium, and large ones. Those. And then this is the large one. Oh my god, how cute are these? Little spice jars. I can put some chili flakes in there, some baguette. <gasps> Oh my god, stop it. Look how cute that is. Also, today is the first Monday of February, which means a lot of people are starting a transition week. Um, I don't think I've actually introduced the JRF challenge, but um, I'm actually one of the coaches slash mentors for the next round of JRF. I've picked five people to be on my team on Instagram. Basically, they'll have access to ask me anything oh, shit. at any given time. Um, obviously, I'll check in with them and their progress. Um, but obviously, if I didn't select you to be on my team and you're doing the JRF challenge, you can reach out to me anytime because I try my hardest to get back to everyone. All right, so there's just heaps more of these. And then I got baskets for like, onions, sweet potato, not that I'll be having any. Um, what else did I get these for? Stuff like that, I'm pretty sure. But these are quite similar to the ones that I did get from Ikea, but they just have black um, handles, whereas the Ikea ones I think are wooden. 
So these are the little baskets. I got another two of those. Um, I got a spice rack. How freaking cute is this? And then you put these on. Stop. I can't even do it. I think that this spice rack is going to go in my pantry. Actually, I don't know yet. Still got to sort shit out. Oh, I got these mega ones for protein. Um, so I can put my protein powders in there. Because let's be real, the protein powder tubs are ugly. I have a feeling they forgot to put my labels in. So I can't find them. Oh, just kidding. Here are the labels. This is what my pantry looks like so far. So as I said, I do have these tubs from ikea which is super helpful and it just makes everything nice and neat but i obviously have to rearrange all of that um yeah i've got like i said i've got one of these i'm pretty sure they're from ikea but yeah it has a wooden um handle um probably a space to put my avocados to be honest um this is all like my hello fresh stuff i feel like yeah i think i did do up a label for hello fresh because i've got so much shit um, sauces and stuff like that. Oils. This is a blank one because I'm not sure what to put in it. This is like sups and stuff. MCT oils. That's my coffee um, in there. But I'm obviously going to have to get another one of these. I've got a spare one down there so I might use that. These have got to go because Peter is starting keto so he won't be needing them. Um, but yeah, I will keep you guys updated. Now I can transfer my chili flakes into the new ones. I might do that now so I can test out the labels. So I'm just gonna rinse out all of these canisters and then let them dry. And then hopefully by the time I get back from the gym, they'll be nice and dry so I can start putting stuff in them. But I'm so excited to start organizing my pantry. You have no idea. So we just got back from the gym and my PO box and I got a few things. So I'll open them up. We also went to Aldi and Woolworths just to get a few things because Peter's starting keto now. Just got some snacks. <laughs> we bought 24 So Good Armour Milk. This is our favourite. Um, we got some more Makona whipped cream for my Jelly Light. I found this marinara mix for Peter. Um, just some shaved leg ham for snacks. I think I've got like cheese and ham roll-ups on my meal plan. Peter got some barramundi and salmon. We've still got heaps of meat from HelloFresh that we'll use. Some beef mint and then some eye fillet steak. So I'll show you guys what I got in my PO box. Right, I think I might put these in the fridge first. Actually, I might make a protein shake. like this when I was in school. How cool is this little card holder? Thanks so much Mimco and they sent me a different design I think. Oh so cute. Then I made an iPhone order the other week. Actually I feel like it's been longer than a week. It's taken quite a while. Maybe it was shipped from America. But I got some chocolate MCT oil powder in the brand Keto Zone. Usually I take the Perfect Keto one, but these have just dropped on their website. So I thought I'd try them and they're a little bit more easier to get your hands on um, and cheaper shipping as well. 
Um, I heard from Zara that Shop Zero is now on iHerb. So I picked up some sugar-free um, low-carb chocolate. This is a 70% and it just comes in little individual squares. So perfect for a snack, 44, 45 calories per square. And then this one is 50% dark chocolate, 40 calories. The carbs on this is one. Yeah, one gram of carbs per square, so that's cool. Then I got some no sugar added chocolate almonds. These are three grams of carbs, 150 cal. Um, I got some seaweed snacks. I think these are relatively low carb. Seven grams for the whole bag. Well, obviously you wouldn't have the whole bag when I'm sitting. Well, I wouldn't, I just will have a few. But I got some seaweed snacks. I actually can't even remember ordering them. I just got some olive oil. Then I got some almond flour, because I needed some. And then finally, the Lakanto chocolate syrup. Um, this is also new on iHerb um, for two tablespoons, 50 calories, and I think one gram of carbs per serving. So I'm excited to try that. The only chocolate syrup I use is the Natvia one, but I wanted to try something different. So that's everything I got from iHerb. Maybelline has sent me their new Falsies Lash It Mascara. Falsies Lash Lift Mascara Swipe On. A lash lift. Thank you, Maybelline. I had to send you some of our summer 2019 2020 swim range to try. We love you. Omaria Swim. Okay, those are cute. I love those. High waisted bikini bottoms. Definitely my sort of style. And then, oh, that's cute, a matching scrunchie. And then a red set as well. Oh, I like these ones. I think, is that the front or the back? I think that's the back. A pair of red ones with matching high-waisted bikini bottoms. Thank you so much. I'll definitely have to take them to Fiji, which is actually coming up really soon. Three months from today, I think. Benefit. Oh. They just released a new product not long ago. Oh, that is so cool. Little, I think it's meant to be like a basketball or volleyball bag. <laughs> a little, let's try and activate this. Fan. How do I turn this on? Oh my God, that's so, wait. Hydrated AF. That is so cool. Professional, the pearl one, and then just the normal one. And then this is their new product, the Professional Hydrate Primer. Haven't actually tried that one yet, but super keen to. Not sure how well you can see the packaging, because I'm so far away from the camera. Not sure how well you can see that, but that's the new primer. And then this is one of my favorite primers for oily skin the Matt Rescue. So thank you so much, Benefit. Oh, and they sent a water bottle as well. One of the flat ones. <laughs> That's so cool. Last but not least, Tanologist Tan Eraser. Express Tan. Oh, it's a tanning water. That's so weird. And then this is the Tanning Mousse One Hour Express. That's the company. I feel like I know her. Is it someone? I feel like I recognize her from somewhere. I think maybe it may be an influencer bringing out this brand. I feel like I've seen her before. So that is all of the goodies that I got. I did start putting labels on some of these canisters before I went to the gym. I was a bit confused, but I'm pretty sure you're just meant to peel it off, wait 24 hours, and then you peel this film off it, and then it's just left with the um, black text on the canisters, but I'll just wait 24 hours. I still gotta figure out what I'm putting in each, but 
I'm gonna put my protein in that, my Slendia pasta, another protein one. I'm not sure what I'm gonna use for these ones, but these are all the labels that I got made. So seasonings for the pantry, like sauces, and then I've got some for the fridge, like dairy, fruit, snacks. Got a coffee one, protein bars. Hello Fresh because I've got so many Hello Fresh things. Keto snacks, chocolate, sweetener, MCT oil powders, cacao powder, dairy, toppings. Yeah, I've got so many, so I'm gonna have to organize that. Um, so I'll show you guys after I've organized it all. Also, in my PO box, I, I don't think I unboxed it, but we got these from this brand. We've seen them online, what are they called? Snorkels. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm gonna try it with water, because obviously I'm not gonna be sculling a cruiser at 4 p.m. on a Monday. Yeah. So let's give it a go. So what do you do? Just put your mouth. That's it, upside down. Put your mouth on that, and then just flick it upside down. So like, yeah, obviously, like put it in now, and then you just twist it, probably put it in. Like, what are you holding? Like, go <laughs> It goes down like this. No, I'm gonna try it. It's actually not as hard as I thought it would be. Cause you drank like three meals of water. Imagine <laughs> if I did that whole thing. Surely to get your water in. We are so freaking cool right now. Peter's gonna try it. Do it from there cause the lighting was shit. Mm. All right, go on. Mm -hmm. Are you gonna take that thing off? I already, I already have. So it's gonna be- Oh shit. <laughs> go. What the fuck? Why is it like leaking? I don't think it's what. Oh, what? You did it! It leaked a bit. Was it what you expected? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I <was> cold. <laughs> hey guys, oh my god, I look so weird with how eyelash extensions have like all come out, but I thought I would vlog making dinner because I'm gonna make. Oh, and also, two pimples just randomly decided to come out um, this morning, so that's cute. Um, and I also like have no tan on, so I feel super pale. Anyways, um, I'm gonna make butter chicken tonight because I haven't made it in ages and it's one of my favorite keto meals. Now that Peter is keto, it's so much easier to cook um, dinners because he'll just eat the same as me. So I'm gonna use the Pete Evans butter chicken simmer sauce. You can get this from Coles um, or Low Carb Emporium. Um, most coals unfortunately don't have them like my coals in the Gold Coast didn't have these but um, My local coals here in Perth do have it. So it just kind of depends where you live I'm going to chop up all of this because I'm gonna make two or three meals Actually could even make four because there are four servings in this but I guess Peter does eat a lot so maybe even three meals um, and then I'm gonna spiral some zucchinis so this is from kmart it's so much better than my other one at home i actually tossed that one out because it was so hard to use but this one is super easy so i'll show you guys how i do that um and yeah that's literally dinner it's so quick and easy and so yum also how cute do my little um spice jars look i haven't actually taken these off because i put them on this morning um, so basically, it's like a vinyl, and you put the whole strip on. It does advise to keep them on for 24 hours. So this has been on since this morning. So basically, you just put that whole film on. I'll show you guys my pantry as well, but it's not completely done. Um, and then you just gently, you got to really like press firmly so the letters don't come off. And then you just peel it really gently. So then it just leaves just the text on the jars. Not sure how well you can see that, but this is my mingle seasoning. And then I've got this one as well, mingle herb and garlic. It's just basically for looks. You know, I could just have the mingle seasonings in their packaging just there, but I got these and I had to use them. So that's that one. And then last one, my mingle all purpose. How satisfying is that? 
So there's that one. I'll show you guys my pantry now. So I've got all of these labels, so my sups, my snacks, my jelly has a separate one because I've got so much. Pasta and also the canisters are from Little Label Co. as well. So they sell the personalized labels and then also the canisters. I need to get a tea one. Um, sauces, I need to get an oil label, MCT oil powders, coffee, my chocolates. So I've just put my um, Choc Zero. I've got some Atkins stuff in here as well. Protein bars. I'm going to make one for Keto Muesli. That's going to be for my chia seeds. I haven't put it on yet. Sweetener, baking, Keto snacks, Hello Fresh seasonings and then this is just um the leftovers i also put this on um too low so i'm going to get a new label because that will give me anxiety i just didn't really realize so i'm getting a top up of some more isopept i think i'm getting banana and chocolate this time so i'll put um them in there these need to go over here so yeah this is what my pantry looks like so far as i said i still haven't completely organized it yet that's where I've just put my um, veggies, avocados, and almond milk. Can't wait to show you guys what it looks like. And I'm not sure what to put up the top here yet, but I guess you don't really store stuff at the top. These are freaking massive. All right, so I'm just going to cut off the ends. How good does this look? All it is is chicken, this sauce, and then steamed zucchini noodles. Yum. Oh my god, guys. So I'm just getting ready for the gym. By the way, sorry if this vlog's like all over the place, but I completely forgot that I had this sample from my second collection with Stacks. What the hell was I thinking bringing this out? What do you mean? Like, okay. Photos of the inspo looked all right. It's the acid wash pistachio color with the JH there, but like, it's not a sports bra, it's just a cotton top. I was like, oh yeah, I'm sure most people would like this. Like, I feel like if I didn't have fake boobs and I wore this without a bra, just buy. Um, I know there will be some people that would wear it. Like I probably would wear it as a top, but it's not a crop top. I wear it when I tan sometimes, like just so I don't have to put like a tight sports bra on. But like, why would I think that everyone would like a top like this? I don't know, I was just in my own little world. Okay, they fit my boobs, cool. But what about the people that have double Ds, Es, double Es, Fs? Like it would just fall out and it just would not look good, so. Yeah, I just thought I'd share that with you guys. Obviously not wearing it to the gym. It's got no support. It's like literally like a thin freaking cotton crop. Um, I got it also in um, the pink color. Um, and I did actually, like I was thinking of doing cropped instead of like the long tees, like cropped. Um, and I just didn't like them because I didn't wear crops. But I'm pretty sure I showed you guys them or told you guys about that. Um, anyways, I'm gonna go put a proper crop on and show you my outfit. That's a bit better. Um, yeah, this is the Stax sports bra. I'll show you guys the back. It's really nice. It's got mesh. 
and it's a muscle back. It's super supportive, but I probably wouldn't, I don't really do cardio anymore, so I'm not really fussed with bras that have heaps of support. It just looks cute. And then these tights are from Amen, their ribbed collection. Show you guys. They're so freaking comfortable. I love Amen. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you would know that I am doing another 12 week challenge with JRF. I'll leave all the links down below if you're interested in joining um, and I'll leave my Instagram down below if you want to check out my previous challenges on the JRF keto meal plan. Last round, I lost around 13 kilos. I was obsessed with it. Um, I loved my meals. Um, I was really consistent with it and I got really good results and this was just before Fiji last year I did it. Um, so I was a bit heavier starting the last round. I'll actually try and find my before Fiji photos and see if I can compare them to my befores um, this year um, because I think I'm about maybe six or seven kilos down um, from the last before photo. So my goal for this round is to actually not do any cardio. Um, I spent years and years and years thinking cardio was just how you lost weight. Um, I was busting my ass doing cardio. I wouldn't do any weights classes, but now all I'm doing is weights based training. Um, so I can also tone my body. So my number one goal this time around is to tone. I want more definition in my legs. I want more definition in my stomach, in my arms, in my shoulders, in my back. So I am doing lots of body pump classes at Good Life, um, which I really enjoy. And I'm also doing some strength and core sessions um, in Good Life as well, the booty bar classes. And also I'm thinking of signing up to Reformer Pilates. I used to do it on the Gold Coast, not for very long because I was so weak back then. Um, so I'll let you guys know how that goes. But yeah, I'm just really excited to really get strong pretty much. But I just love group training. I just always have. Um, I feel most motivated and I push myself more doing group fitness. So that's why I love the Good Life classes and they're bloody challenging. Um, so yeah, we'll see how that goes. But yeah, that's my goals for this next 12 weeks and yeah, yeah, just to get strong. Shredded. Look at my pimples, dude. Like, why are they red? Like, they're flat. They're like not even raised on my face, but they're just two red bloody dots. We have to go to the post office today, by the way, nah. to get my parcels. Nah. I'm so annoying. So yeah, I thought I'd update you guys. What? He finds it annoying because I don't have a car yet to go get my P.O. Box mail. But we just go after the gym anyways. We are off to the gym. I really do want to bring my camera, but I'm just like a little bit scared because sometimes the classes are full and I don't get like a back position because if I did, I would just set my camera up at the back because sometimes I film on my phone, but then sometimes I have to be in the middle of the class and that would just be really, really weird. Um, so I might film on my phone if I get a back position. I'm not bringing my um, camera because, I don't know, I feel like people would be like, what the fuck are you doing? Um, so I'll try film on my phone. If not, I'm not sure how I'm supposed to explain what body pump is, but it's basically like, it's not like F45. How would I explain body pump? Um, for those that obviously don't know what it is, it's basically a full body workout only weight space. So you usually start off with like a warm up. You have lots of different um, weighted plates, a bar, and then like a step where you can um, lie on when we do shoulders and triceps and stuff like that. So we usually start off with um, squats. So that's the heaviest um, plates on the bar. Um, and usually each track goes for about six minutes. So it's like purely squats for that six minutes and that's obviously like some sort of routine that they do um and basically until your legs and butt burn out like it is so freaking hard and then you do shoulders you do chest you do triceps you do biceps you do abs so it's like a full body workout but it's so tough i think i've explained it before very briefly but i just really like it i think today's only 45 minutes though so 
I might just go on the treadmill or on the stepper machine after. So yeah, I will keep you guys updated. So just finished the gym and the fucking aircon wasn't working, but it was on 27 degree. 27 degree heat was blaring down at me. Like a couple of people had to leave because it was that hot. It was like an actual hot box in there, but I got it done. I just got home. I went and picked up a few stuff from my PO box. So I'll unbox it and show you guys. Um, I think we're gonna go to the beach today because it's really hot and I've been loving going to the beach. Um, and then I've got to come back and do some work. Okay, so this is what I got in my PO box. How freaking cool is this? I've seen these beauty fridges online for ages. Um, I was just reading the box and basically um, you can store face masks, skincare, nail polish, face mists, and it says it is a revolutionary way to keep your skincare and cosmetics fresher for longer. Refrigerating your favorite skincare and cosmetic products can help to extend their shelf life and reduce the amount of harmful bacteria becoming present. So that's super cool. So I might stock this up with all of my skincare, maybe set up in the spare bathroom because I don't think there's enough room in my bathroom. Did it come with? I swear it came with like a little plug. Maybe it's still in the box, but how freaking cute. I love the color. We just ran out of our isopept, so we ordered some more from Elite Sups. Um, Rimmel have sent me some of their new stuff. Jelly Glitter Gel Eye Base, I think. These look cool. Highlighter. And then Mecha Max sent me a bunch of their new eyeliners. I can. I actually don't mind. Actually, no, are they lip liners? No, they are lip liners. I thought they were eyeliners. They are some really nice colors there. Um, I actually do like the Mecha Max lip liners. I've used them before. Um, and then Too Faced have just come out with their Better Than Sex eyeliner, which I'm super keen to try out. I love fell tip liners. So I'll let you guys know how that goes. I'll use it in my next makeup video. And they just sent me their waterproof and their just normal Better Than Sex mascara. Um, and then I got a package from Pat McGrath. I got a message from a girl saying, I've, I've been pronouncing Pat McGrath like Pat McGrath. I always thought the TH was silent, but apparently not. Pat McGrath Labs sent me their new lip glosses. They look amazing. I'll have to use them in my next um, makeup video. And then, oh, these are just stickers that came with the beauty fridge. So yeah, this is what we're having for lunch. These are just cheese Kranskis from the Primo brand from Woolworths. Good sauce, avocado. And this is a little salad that I whipped up with feta, tomato, cucumber, balsamic vinegar, and salt and pepper. Yum. Good morning. This is what I have every morning as like a pre-workout. So some stevia, a little bit more coffee, and then I'll put in a salt. Then I just fill it all up with ice and then almond milk. And then Peter has the same, but a bigger one. Ooh. These are from Kmart, by the way. So cool. And that is my pre-workout coffee. Just making some dinner. Making Peter some steak, mushrooms, broccoli, and asparagus. And I'm just gonna have steak and I think I'm just gonna have garlic broccoli. I love Peter because it's so like simple and easy. So easy to think of stuff to eat. Anyways, I was going to end this vlog here because I was just actually finishing off editing it and I realized I hadn't ended the vlog. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully it wasn't boring, but I did actually get up to quite a bit this week. 
Um, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.